the number 16, Tanar Robinson. April 16th, Wolverines looking for their 10th win in a row. Denard Robinson throwing out the first pitch for the maize and blue. There it is. James Burke on the hill for Michigan. He gets some great defense behind him. Top of the first, Eric Jagailo with the ground ball into the hole. Travis Mazes throws him out to end the inning. Bottom of the second, Zach Zott at the plate, and he takes this Zach Katsulos pitch deep to right. The solo shot was his second of the year, 1-0 Michigan. He was a lefty pitcher, so I knew he's a matchup guy with a lot of our lefties, but he just left the slider. Uh, it's a slurvy kind of pitch, a slurve up in the zone, and we were doing our uh, split rhythm approach, and anything up, we just yank, and I hit it well. Burke still cruising in the fourth as he gets Notre Dame one, two, three. All three fighting Irish hitters go down swinging. It felt okay today. You know, I started off and uh, was a little worried about it, but then I uh, kind of got in a groove and was working all three pitches for strikes. And, you know, with this defense, it's so easy to pitch because they go and get everything, they make every play. So it's a lot easier to pitch when you got that behind you. Bottom of the fourth, Zot now on first after being hit by a pitch. Kevin White puts one just inside the bag down at third base. Puts runners at second and third. Right. Two batters later, Cole Martin comes up and delivers one of his three hits on the day. It scores Zot, 2 nothing Michigan. Top five, runner on with a walk against Burke, one out. Mac Hudgens grounds one to Eric Jacobson. He tags Ryan Bull for one and then fires to first to complete the double play. <laughs> Next inning, Burke still in command, getting both Lane Richards and Forrest Johnson on strikes. Burke seven strikeouts and no hits allowed through six innings. Fastball, curveball, changeup, any time, in any count. I mean, some of some of his, uh, you know, just momentum killing pitches, three, two count curveballs. I mean, just, you know, it's tough as a hitter, as a former hitter, that's tough, tough to be able to get any type of rhythm with the pitcher when he's throwing any pitch in any count. And that's what, that's what James had tonight, and that uh, made him very special. Bottom of the six, Patrick Biondi up with two aboard, and the senior hits one to the deepest part of the ballpark. Martin comes in to score, three nothing Michigan. Top the seventh, Jagailo up for Notre Dame. Fly ball to center field and look at Biondi go get it. U of M's first no hitter since 1994 was starting to look like a real possibility. He tracks down everything, you know. He makes it so easy to pitch, and so uh, yeah, it was pretty great seeing him make that play. Michigan's bats put the game away in the bottom of the seventh. Jack Sexton here with the single to right. It scores Zot. Then Martin comes up and singles past the shortstop. That scores White. Michigan blows it open, takes an 8-0 lead, leaving the only drama in the game up to James Burke. On to the eighth inning. Burke gets Hudgens swinging for the second out of the inning, but the no-hitter would come to an end on this Richard single to left with two out in the eighth. Burke would leave to a standing ovation. The Wolverines would go on to win 8-2 for their 10th straight victory. Pitching and defense is our, uh, our biggest thing that uh, drives this team. And, and when you get a guy like Burke out here that's absolutely controlling the game like he did today, that's huge. And, um, you know, it's relaxing for us hitters to get out there and, and to put up runs for him. We know how to win now, and uh, I think that's definitely a new – the new part of the new era, the backage era, where we a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, and we close out games. We really developed a, a confidence when we come to the field, and we just know that uh, we're going to execute the plan, um, and you know we're going to we're going to step up and and get ourselves in a good position to win the game. They play Eastern Michigan on Wednesday at 6:05 at the Wilpon Complex. For MGoBlue.com, I'm Anthony Polidano.